Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And I'm finally back inside of my lovely world. I know I've been away for quite a few videos, but I'm finally back in my own bed, and it feels nice to be home. And I'm also surrounded by old friends. You can see here, Crimson Azov, someone who was in lots of my early videos, but he's sort of been slightly sparse in recent videos. So he's now once again joining me in my world. And I'm also here being joined by I Halo Zone, uh, the founder of the YouTube channel Halo Zone, a Halo community channel where I upload quite a lot of videos too. So if you're a fan of Halo uh, as well as Minecraft, then definitely go and check them out. I'll leave a link to them in the description uh, as long as I remember to add it. If there isn't a link in the description, send me a comment and I'll make sure that I add it. Uh, first thing, I'm going to give you a quick tour of everything think that's new. Uh, if you remember in my last video, sadly, Pork the Porky the dog <laughs> came down here and he actually died uh, while I dropped down here, down here on my slime farm. So I've paid my respect to him. I've put a little grave here for him. I've done it out of pink wool uh, because it just sort of seemed fitting with a dog called Porky. I've also got a chest here full of freshly cooked pork chops and a sign with the pork scene painting all put up. And you can see here, Halo Zone paying his respects to Porky. Looks very upset. Also, Krimzmezov throwing down a pork chop on top of his grave. It was a very sad moment when he died and I'm still not uh, entirely sure how he did die. I basically just jumped down here and I heard a dog dying and then he wasn't following me anymore. So uh, it just seemed fitting uh, to put the grave down there. So sadly, every time I do now come down to my slime farm, I am reminded uh, of Porky and I don't actually seem to get that many slime spawning in there since he died. I don't know whether the ghost of Porky is scaring them off. Or I've also never seen any slimes uh, while I'm doing a video, so maybe uh, the slimes are just camera shy. But do believe me, uh, I do sometimes get slimes down there. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is something slightly boring. It's a tree farm, and it's basically a, a really efficient way of getting trees. And uh, the reason why it's so effective is because of how closely you grow the trees together and also collects the saplings. And so you see I've built two here next to each other. Uh, this is one without any trees, that's one with trees. You basically make a 5x5 five five ring here, uh, you put saplings along it and then the trees grow. I got another ring along the top there where Craig is and Halo Zone, uh, so be careful guys, don't fall off. And the trees will grow, the stopper make sure they don't grow too tall so you can always uh, cut them down without having to pile up any blocks and they also uh, won't branch. And then you put torches around the outside so the trees will grow um, throughout the night as well so you get more trees growing. You can use bone meal and just sort of spam the bone meal to make them grow even quicker, uh, but I find that with this little setup uh, I never run out of wood so um, yeah, it's just a, a, an interesting way of doing it and you'll see that you've got to use oak trees uh, basically because they're the only trees that can grow directly next to each other. Uh, if you try using like pine or conifer or whatever the other trees are, uh, you'll find that it won't actually work. And basically what happens is I'll cut them down, all the saplings will go and land in the water like that and because of the water flow they're all going to be taken uh, directly down into there and then they get collected down here. And if you want to make one of these yourself, uh, I'll once again leave a link in the description to a video uh, which I watched uh, in order to find this. I don't want to steal credit. Uh, this isn't my design, and I can't actually remember the name of the YouTuber uh, that made the original one. Um, but yeah, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to build something like that. And it just makes uh, getting wood slightly easier. You see I've got this chest full of saplings here. Something else which is slightly new uh, is my mushroom farm. I had a mushroom farm down here anyway, but because I didn't have a roof, uh, nothing was actually growing. And even though torches can grow in the light, uh, you can have them next to a torch, the mushrooms. Um, it does have to be sort of inside uh, for the mushrooms to actually grow. So I put a little roof over this area, and so now I'm getting a lot of mushrooms. I'm getting a good yield of mushrooms. And you can see here I've got just a chest for my brown and my red mushrooms. And all of these came from just sort of one red mushroom and one brown mushroom. And from all of that, all of the other mushrooms have grown. Kind of like the Adam and Eve story of mushrooms there. <laughs> and the biggest uh, new advancement in my world since you last saw it is this. And what this will be, uh, will be a theatre eventually. This is only the front of the theatre and it's still not finished. Uh, but this is basically what it'll end up looking like. And you can see here, Halo Zone, uh, I've hired to sell the ticket. So Halo Zone, can I have one ticket please? Oh, two tickets, I meant, I meant to say two tickets. Uh, thank you very much, Halo Zone. <laughs> and I'm just gonna show you inside here. This is uh, the main lobby area. That's uh, for staff only, so I'm not gonna go in there. Halo Zone will get very angry at me. Uh, we've got here is the toilet. And here is the concession stand, and this is where I can get my food. So can I have some bread and some pork chops and stuff, please, Crimson? 
you, you're gonna give it to me? Thank you very much. I don't have anything to pay you, so there we go. Got some bread and some pork chops. And I know it's a little bit cramped in here, and it's not finished. I'm sort of still rearranging it, and I obviously haven't put uh, any floor in or anything yet. But this is kind of what it will be like. I've also, as I said, got a toilet in here, so say if I eat some of this bread and it turns off to be bad bread, luckily I've got the toilet really nearby so I can run straight into here. And Craig's here now gonna show us how to use the toilet. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure that's how you're supposed to use the toilet. Oh, he's he's blocking us in just in case uh, it looks kind of disgusting there. Right, I'm going to try and just trap him in here. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> I was going to try and put some blocks there, but he caught me. Oh, he also put some signs up. That's supposed to be the lady sign, even though it kind of looks a little bit like a caterpillar. And that's obviously the uh, gentleman sign. So I also realized Craig went into the wrong side. And there's a bit of a sink here. And you can't really make sinks very well in Minecraft. <laughs> it's a little bit massive, but... Yeah, this is this is good enough for a toilet. And I'll leave Halo Zone in there. He seems to be spent. Actually, wait. Halo Zone, there's some paper there for you. Don't forget to wipe. <laughs> I don't actually want to see the plate. Don't, don't do it there. Oh, I think he thought it was a hand towel. And through here, this is where the um, whole rest of the um, theatre is going to be. And to build the rest of the theatre, I'm going to need a lot more space. So basically, that mountain there is going to have to go. And I'm going to get rid of a good chunk of it in this video. But don't panic. That doesn't mean you're going to spend the next 20 minutes or so uh, seeing me here with a pickaxe just sort of chiseling away. I'm actually going to blow it up. And that's going to be the finale of this video. Uh, if you come in here, you'll see that I've linked up a load of redstone, uh, which goes down here in a trail and goes to a whole bunch of TNT. And there's not enough to like blow up the entire mountain, but it should hopefully be uh, quite a dramatic ending to the video and I'm gonna blow up like a, a decent portion of this uh, mountain you see that uh, down here I got TNT on both sides there so it's basically gonna get rid of a decent chunk and just sort of make the rest of mining this mountain uh, slightly easier and there's uh, on the top there there's a few uh, more tunnels there full of TNT and I'm kind of scared that Halo Zone or Crimson has off it's gonna set off the fireworks early and what's going on over here do not touch you're telling me to not touch the fire or the button? Because I can understand you not wanting me to touch the uh, the fire. Um, I, I can't leave it. I can't not touch it. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand quite far back, though, because I'm slightly scared. Halo Zone, don't get over there. <laughs> and that's why you should always listen to signs. <laughs> Luckily, I saw it coming and moved back. Who did that? Which one of you? I think that was Craig. I think that's Craig owning up. I think that was him there <laughs> laughing at me. Right, while I'm here, actually wait, one last thing to show you. Uh, you see there those red uh, redstone torches? They're actually going to be sort of flashing and lighting up and stuff. Uh, so if you sort of look up here, there's a big empty space here. The roof's going to be over our head. And I'm going to have a load of redstone here to hopefully try and make those redstone torches flash or do some sort of kind of pattern or something. And there's a little... Uh, ladder down here which leads to the the ticket booth area and I'm gonna get out of here quick because it's staff only and I don't actually work here so I don't want to get told off by Halo Zone. Oh no it looks like I'm getting snowballs thrown at me because I went in. Leave me alone guys. <laughs> Sorry I do my matrix dogging. Matrix dogging? <laughs> matrix dodging. Oh my god I don't want to don't see any matrix dogging that that's slightly wrong. Um right yeah here's here's my my love garden updated who's new right Faithless Angel or Faith Lee 55 Angel. Uh, it's Luckful, uh, another Halo commentator, and he actually asked, he actually asked for a dog to be named Lucky as well, and he sort of made sure that I didn't take Lucky with me because <laughs> he didn't want Lucky to die. Uh, CJ Fold is also new. Uh, Halo Zone, who actually added this sign and also added a sign saying Stampy loves him, and I'm not going to deny it. He looks very pleased with himself there. Uh, Zed believe the hype. Um, awesome Jordan 89 Faze Ray Ray, who may actually remember from my video of my number one fan. He's actually someone who uh, came into my world and I gave him a bit of a tour, and he just seemed uh, so excited to be inside my world. He put his own got his own sign there. Uh, Pixie, I think all of these guys and girls uh, have already been in the video, so I think that's all of the shout outs I've got to do. I'm just going to quickly go and grab a dog quick though. Uh, basically because I don't want to be in this video by myself and then I'm going to go and move on and build uh, what it is that I'm actually going to be building in this video and what I'm going to be building is a living room and the actual walls and the floor and all of the boring stuff has already been built so I'm basically going to be adding in a sofa and a TV and maybe some bookshelves or DVD cases uh, as they might be and while I'm doing that Crimson is off and Halo Zone are going to be building a kitchen so I can have dinner parties and have people around and entertain them and oh my god it's a bloody oh oh hi Ha ha, dress up as some bloody googlies. Let's scare Stampy Longnose. That'll be funny, won't it? Yeah, it won't be funny when I get a dog following me and then I can attack you. 
Uh, a few new names. Uh, Guilty Bark uh, was suggested by Afro Dan, the king of bad puns. And I think there's someone... Oh, yeah, and as, as I said earlier, Lucky. And seeing as It's Luck for, um, told me to not take Lucky with me ever, I think I'm going to take Lucky with me. So, Lucky, let's go. Let's do it. I think I'm going to set a record in this video for rambling as well. Look, it's almost night and I've built nothing. I've made absolute zero progress on anything and it's already uh, starting to get dark. Um, but before I go to bed, actually I think I'm going to go to bed first, but I want to quickly, very quickly, it's going to be the last thing I'm going to show you before I start building, I want to show you off my finished library. Uh, if you remember my last video that I made in this world, I know it was probably a little while ago uh, because I've had a few videos in other people's worlds and in uh, my and Mel's world since then, but um, yeah, the last video I was here, I started building a library, but I didn't make very much progress on it. And so I'm going to show you what it looks like now completed. And I think it actually turned up really well. And I think the little fireplace area with the hidden bit uh, also worked out really well. So I'm here just waiting for Halo Zone and Crimson's off to go to bed. Hopefully Halo Zone uh, does know where the bedroom is. Yeah, it looks like he's he's found his way to the guest bedroom. And then in the morning, I'm going to go quickly show you the library. And then I'm finally going to start building uh, what I intended to build in this video. I know I'm sort of running slightly behind schedule now, so I do apologize for that. Okay, but first things first, let's go and show you the library. And it kind of reminds me of Harry Potter. I like the little hidden area. It just sort of seems mystical. I had a little sign there saying library. And this is what the finished room looks like. Uh, I've added a little uh, bench down there, a little reading bench. Uh, I filled these chests up with a load of books just to make it a bit more library-esque. And oh my, stop doing that. Halo Zone, change back to Master Chief. <laughs> and um, yeah, here's the <laughs> Halo Zone's just warming himself up. But if I press the lever here, as you might have already seen, it opens up a little secret area. And I've actually got a reason for the secret area now. And oh god, there's Lucky coming in with me. Uh, this is my valuables room. I've uh, got obviously a diamond block in the middle there. The most expensive block you can have in Minecraft. And the walls are made out of, and the ceiling and floor, uh, are made out of gold and lapis blocks. So there's a hell of a lot of gold and diamond and lapis went into this room. I've also got iron blocks here leading into the room. So this is sort of just showing off my wealth. I say showing off my wealth. I've sort of hidden it behind a fireplace. And who's the joker that trapped me in? Luckily, though, I was planned ahead and I got a little fail safe button here. So if I press that button, one side will open, but there's some fire. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. They've got snow at the top and fire at the bottom. Right. Let's try that again. Go, 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 go. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, OK. It looks like they opened the door for me anyway. And you see I've got some flint and steel in here. So once you uh, come out, you've got to relight the fire. And that's the only... No Whoa, that's not the fire. The only annoying thing is you've got to relight the fire every bloody single time you come out. But I suppose it's better than the fire staying there than you getting burnt every time you walk in. Okay, right, let's move on now uh, to what I'm going to be building in this video, my living room and my kitchen. It's kind of lucky I've got some helpers in this video because I've spent so long showing you around all of the updates. I sort of wouldn't have much time to build anything. So yeah, this is where the living room's going to be. I know these aren't the biggest rooms and they sort of join on together, but I kind of like things realistic size. This is probably the actual size that you would have for like a living room in real life. And I can also hear a creeper somewhere. There's got to be a cave somewhere near here. Oh, sorry, it's not a creeper, is it? It's a zombie. And so yeah, the plan is I'm going to have a TV over here, and I'm going to have a sofa over here, and this is going to be the kitchen, and that they're going to build like kitchen utensils and stuff here, crafting tables and all that sort of stuff over here. And I think they're going to go and build a table here. So I'm just going to give the guys a go ahead. And the way I give them a go ahead is jump about eight times, crouch three times, and then spin in a circle. That is the go-ahead for them that they're allowed to start building. <laughs> we didn't pre-plan that. I was, I was just playing around there. Right, to, to work with the TV. And uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use a painting. So I'm going to put down a few slabs here as sort of the, the TV stand, kind of. And then I'm going to have my TV, which is... I think it's got to be this size. I kind of had a bit of a mock-up. I just put... Uh, the picture on the wall to sort of get the size. I think it needs to be around about that size, I believe. And then I need to put the painting on and I need to try and get the one with the two people fighting. So I think that looks like the most uh, TV-ish. Right, okay. Um, now I just need to do the laborious task of continually placing them until I get the one I want. Actually, I think I've to do it there. I'll have more chance of getting a bigger one. <laughs> It's something like, oh, I keep thinking there's someone right behind me. There we go. There, there's my TV. Um, I'm just going to add a button onto the side to make it look a bit more like a TV. There's my on-off switch. And <laughs> it doesn't look much like a TV, does it, really? I wish I could place, like, normal blocks on half blocks, but you can't do that, can you? No, they just sort of 
end up floating. It's really annoying. I wish I could have it like just slightly lower, but I suppose this will do for now. Uh, in the future, I think you can actually do that in the uh, in the PC version. So hopefully an update will come out so I can do that. I'm also going to put down a sofa quickly here and I'm going to do quite a big sofa. So I'm going to have it, uh, I think around here. And I'm doing the sofa the same way I did it in Crimson Mazoff's world uh, in my bedroom there. And can you get out of the way, please, Lucky? <laughs> There we go, there, there, there's my sofa, and I'm pretty much done for this room, to be honest. I already know what else I could add. I could put some speakers down. I think I might use Grey Wall for that. And the way I'm going to do my speakers is I'm going to just put them down, and then just put a button in the middle of it. Oh no, I can't, because there's a button there. Right, that button can go in the front instead. Okay, the, the, these these are my speakers. <laughs> Actually, they, they might be better being black, just because... um. I don't know if that will look... Does that look... Do they look like speakers? That looks alright, doesn't it? That looks kind of TVS, doesn't it? If I put a button down onto there, there's the on-off switch. I don't know if a lever would look better, but you don't really get a lever on a TV, do you? <laughs> Maybe some really old TV that you've got to sort of wind up. <laughs> and I don't like the sound of that zombie. I don't know where the... There's obviously a natural cave or something around here, and I don't like it. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to add to my living room. Oh yeah, I could add some bookshelves somewhere, as like my DVD cases. Uh, where could I put them? I put them here, I guess. There we go. <laughs> only, I've only got two on me. All right, let's see what they're doing in the kitchen. Ah, this is all looking pretty cool. See, I've got two ovens. Um, got my little crafting table down there. Some chests up here. This, this is looking okay. I haven't done any work on the table yet, but looks like they're doing. Oh look, there's here Halo Zone just enjoying some TV. <laughs> okay. I, I really don't know what else I could put in. There. I could put another painting up somewhere, I suppose. Uh, I put a painting up here. Try and try and get a double one. I actually like know the names of all of the paintings now. Actually, that that was quite a cool one because of uh, doing my art gallery. Whoa, that look okay. I think that looks alright. I think I might might leave that up there. A massive Donkey Kong. Actually, no, I can't leave that there because it's not symmetrical. And every time I look in here, I go crazy. I don't know about you, but I was gonna have things like exactly symmetrical. And do you find whenever you're putting pictures down and you're trying to get a specific one, even when you do get it, you just destroy it anyway because you just sort of going through the motions of putting them up and destroying them. Or is that just me? <laughs> Maybe it's just me. And uh, if you don't know about when uh, placing down paintings, uh, wherever you put it down, it'll be in, if you put it down in the bottom left-hand corner, that would be the bottom left-hand corner of the painting. But if you go up and to the right one, you've got more chance of getting a bigger one. If you're sort of spending ages trying to get the painting you want, you might find that uh, a little bit easier. And so yeah, it looks like they're just sort of filling the area here. I suppose I might as well just give them a bit of a hand because uh, there isn't really that much else I can do. I might put down like a few poles in the corner, sort of hold it all up. That looks quite cool. And I might rearrange some of the torches actually because it looks a bit weird having the, the torches above the TV. Uh, where shall I have my light? Uh, I think there and there. Once again, got to have everything symmetrical. Uh, either side of the painting will do nicely. And I'll do the same on this side. So that'll be there and there. There we go. This is a very well lit room now. Uh, I could have a little coffee table down there, I suppose. I could have a, like a little wooden coffee table. If I just put down some wooden slabs, like some wooden half slabs. Uh... Up there, I guess. There we go. Got a little coffee table down there. Like, I normally always struggle building. Like, I spend ages showing you round stuff, and then I'll start building. I build about, like, for two minutes, and I place, like, ten blocks, and then I run out of time. I'm sort of slightly too efficient in this video, and I build everything a lot quicker than I planned. So I'm sort of thinking, well, what else could I do? <laughs> I think we might actually just go and. Oh, well, look at that. What is that? Is that a dispenser with a something on it? Ow! What's the, what's the lever do? Oh, is that a piston? That's not a piston, is it? What is that down there? Uh, I can't actually interact on it. I think that is a piston. So... <laughs> that's, that's, that's not going to be a no nice way to have your dinner, is it? You're going to be sitting there, having like your pork chops. You're going to place your pork chops down on the table, and then someone's going to pull a lever, and your pork chops are going to get splattered. You're going to splatter your breakfast on the ceiling. <laughs> anyway, I think this is the kitchen pretty much done as well. I can't see uh, what else there is uh, to add to this room. It looks like Craig's just doing a few finishing touches and uh, adding some paintings. Why is he putting a painting up there? Anyway, so I think now would be a good time to go and do the, the old demolition. So if I just get their attention... Oh, I was going to punch him to get his attention. Then I realised that might not be a good idea, seeing as 
Um, <laughs> Lucky would probably go for blood. So guys, if you come this way, guys, guys, this way, this way, this way, this way. Look at me, look at me. Everyone look at me, everyone look at the cat. Everyone look at the jumping cat. Look, look, the cat's on the furniture. Tell it off, tell it off. <laughs> we normally have some sort of prearranged sign language where I didn't sort of plan anything with these guys. Hopefully if I start coming this way, they're gonna get my attention. There we go. Now they can see me coming. Right, let, let's go and do the thing you've all been waiting for, the massive finale. We're gonna go and destroy a mountain. How many other people do that? How many other people at the end of their Minecraft videos go and destroy a mountain? Not very many, I'd guess. Not very many. <laughs> like, I'm really building this up. I know what it's going to be like because I know what it's... Actually, I'm going to move these torches. There we go. Play some more signs. Also, you see here, there's one extra sign up here. Uh, that is because uh, Craig was asking me, what's going to happen when you fill up your love garden? I was like, well, I can sort of stack the signs. And he's like, don't stack anyone on me. I don't want anyone on top of me. So I was like, then what about if I put your girlfriend on top of you? And he's sort of like, well, my girlfriend can be on top of me. So uh, his girlfriend, which is actually called Demi, uh, but I always call her Demo uh, as sort of a long running joke uh, from when I was doing a student radio show and I kept getting her name wrong. Uh, so yeah, that's the reason why there's a sign there. And what's going on there? Why did my dog just kill Halo Zone? What was that about? Maybe, did he, did he attack Lucky? Don't know what's going on there. Anyway, we need to go and blow all this stuff up before it gets dark. So hopefully Halo Zone will come and rejoin us. <laughs> what's going on? Lucky's vicious. I hope we don't have to get him put down. Right, I, I've, what I've done, I've done some safety precautions and I didn't actually link up all the redstone. I left a few gaps uh, so the explosion wouldn't go off prematurely. <laughs> I've had my safety inspector around and he looked at everything and he decided that um, everything's okay. I just need to leave some of the wire unfinished until the day of demolition, which is finally today. And so, right, it's time for the big explosion. I'm going to set off these two bottom areas. They're going to set off the two at the top. And hopefully we'll get a big butter boom. That's that. That's the plan. Right. Three, two, one. Activate. Oh, no, I missed the lever. There we go. Oh, hey, everyone's running away. Oh, I can hear explosions. Is it going on? Whoa. <laughs> okay. As I said, always slightly anticlimactic having explosions in Minecraft, but... Okay, there's a decent amount of demolition. Well, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that chunk of thing being taken out. This is going to be destroyed in no time. All right, still got a hell of a lot of progress to do before I destroy this entire mountain. But the TNT has there made it slightly easier for me. If you are trying to destroy a mountain, I don't recommend doing it in this way. Linking up a load of redstone is probably a bit of a waste. Uh, but I thought it'd make a slightly more entertaining uh, end to this video. Even though it was, as I said, slightly anticlimactic. So I'm going to go around and collect up all of this bits of dirt, cobblestone and little shards of redstone dust. And then that's pretty much it in terms of this video. Uh, I think in my next video I'm going to be building a swimming pool. Uh, so hopefully that will be swimming. And make sure you check back for my next video which will be up within two or three days uh, if you want to see doing that. And I'll also have by then built a little bit more of my theatre and sort of every video in my world I'm just going to show you what I've added to my theatre until it's hopefully big and dramatic and amazing and then I'm going to put on my big performance of Stampy and the Magic Pork Chop. So there's something for you to look forward to. Thank you for sharing me in this journey on this video. Thank you to Halo Zone and Krimzmazov for helping me build my theatre and my kitchen. That's the end of the video though, so I'll see you later. <laughs>